There you are, handsome. No mud. How have you been? Oh, simply wonderful. And you? About the same. Somewhere stuck between joyful and peachy. Even in this world full of scum and detritus, it's only right that we all bear our share. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> Take this poor wretch. On the run, desperate, alone, about to learn the true meaning of suffering, all for a few thousand bucks. Think you can find him for me? Every man has his talents, Maud, and the rigorous administration of justice is, uh, it's one of mine. That's why I love you, Trevor. I'll send you his file. to keep an eye out for you. where I can see him, boyfriend! I don't think so, pal! Okay, goddammit, I give up. Correct decision! Come on, road trip! Get in! Come on, pal, don't do this. Just, just let me turn myself in, please. No can do. I'm a dedicated servant of justice, my friend. Count yourself lucky I haven't trust you in duct tape and thrown you in the trunk. Although now I've said it out loud, I kind of like the idea. Please, they're saying I could get five years. Five years! Whoa, whoa, hang on, remind me. What did you do again? You're giving off a sex criminal vibe. What? No! They're just trying to charge me with check fraud, money laundering, workers' compensation fraud. It's crazy. It was just a few payroll taxes, for Christ's sake. Okay, I'm listening now. You had me at money laundering. What's your play? It isn't really a play. You create a shell company, take out a minimal workers' comp insurance policy, then charge subcontractors a fee to use that company as a dummy paper trail for their undocumented workers. I'm just a middleman, really. Whoa, 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 I take it all back. You are officially the most boring criminal alive. Nah, jail's the place for you for sure, for the learning experience alone. What were you doing skulking around that quarry like a common toad anyway? You actually wouldn't find a toad in a quarry, it's too dry. Whoa, are you getting smart with me, admin criminal? No, no, I'm sorry. I'm, ju I'm just really nervous. Question my questions again. I'll slate your throat and let you gurgle the answer. Am I making myself clear? Uh, one of the mining contractors I worked with said I could lie low there, okay? I've been sleeping in a bulldozer. You know, you're really not what I pictured. I've seen those bounty hunter shows on TV. I was expecting some washed up 80s pro wrestler type, but you're much, much scarier. Well, I was expecting someone much, much, much less of a pussy. I have to say, for my first bail jumper, you're a bit of a disappointment. I was hoping serial killer, maybe international drug czar, but no. <laughs> I get the payroll bandit. Pathetic. But you know, Roland... It's Ralph. Hey! 
What did I tell you about answering back? You know, Roland, this could be a lot worse. It could? Chase down a depressed, overweight, middle-aged man and deliver him to a depressed, overweight, middle-aged woman in exchange for cash. It's not big bucks, but it's low effort. Quick return, compared to the rigors of some of my other money-making ventures. This is a roll in the hay. Come on, please. Whatever they're paying you, I'll double it. Oh, yeah? What? You gonna write me a check? Well, I don't have any cash right now, obviously. I've been hiding in a quarry for weeks, covering my waist with sand like a dog. But please, I'm begging you. I'm not a bad man. I just wanted a fresh start. My wife's having an affair. My kids hate me. Then I am sure you'll find jail very... freeing. I've certainly enjoyed myself during my stays. When in Rome... What are you talking about? Nothing, buddy. <laughs> Nothing at all. You'll thrive. Just smile. Now, how about you shut up and let me remember good times in peace? Don't be shy. How you been, Trevor? Boy, am I glad to see you. Look what you brought me. Your relentless sunny disposition, it always puts a pep in my step. I aim to please. Well, witty banter completed, I'll give you my thanks. And I'll send you another file for your inspection. Who it is, Larry Topper. This ain't worth it. Just take me in. Ah, there's a good boy. Wasn't very nice, Larry. Whoa! Hang on. Surely it ain't. Trevor Phillips? Am I that forgettable? Well, I was pretty messed up back then. And you, well... Years ain't been kind to none of us, have they? How you been? Oh, oh, I can't complain. Yourself? You know, up and down. Look, sorry for that back there. Didn't know it was you. Hey, no harm done. Glad to hear it. Ha, well, isn't this pleasant? So, seeing as we're old acquaintances, what do you think about giving me a pass this time? All I did was cook up a batch, not even a real crime. You know how it is. Well, let's look at this objectively, shall we? You've shot at me, insulted my rugged good looks, and shamelessly gone after my market share. I just consider yourself extremely lucky your heart is still beating, and not being stomped under my foot right now. Oh yeah, right. I heard about Johnny. Yes. If it wasn't for the fact I'd made a commitment to Maud and have a soft spot for the mature woman. Maud? 
Oh, hell, she smells like spoiled chicken feet. Maybe you can work your charms on her, see if she'll let you off. She's certainly hankering for some male <laughs> company, huh? What'd you think, huh, 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 huh? No way. I'll take the jail time. Second bail jumper, and I already know the feller. Maybe I need to take audit of my social circle. Well, if I got to go in, who better to go in with than my old pal Trevor? We had some good times, didn't we? No, we really didn't, Larry. I sold you drugs. Then I can only assume you started buying drugs off someone else, then started selling your own drugs. These, on their own, do not constitute good times. We had a real nice cook site this time, too. Next thing you know, whole trailer goes up like a rocket. Must have gotten lazy again with the measurements and the shake and bake. As a wise man once said, rarely does a tweaker a good baker make. Huh? Right? I still can't rightly believe you're a bounty hunter. If what I heard about them bikers and Ortega's crew is true, I wouldn't have figured you have much time for a sideline. Well. I am diversification personified, or personification diversified, as a psychological evaluation once said. Say what? Don't worry about it. Look, it's been fun catching up and all, Larry, but I think we've said everything that needs to be said, don't you? Whatever you reckon, Trevor. What you got for me? Hello, stranger. Who's this? Hello, Maud. I found this man wandering the streets, and I thought that maybe you uh, might be able to find him a home. I think I can do that. Anyway, let's not waste all day with the inconsequential chit-chat. You'll be receiving a file from me shortly. Finance guy, mm, my favorite. Looking death in the eye again. Don't you move! You're coming with me! I don't think so, bro! Pretending you're a terrible criminal. This is the only way I'm going down. All right, all right, all right, you win. Oh, that's better. 
Now let's go before I change my mind on the whole dead or alive thing. Would you send out a cab post haste? I'm sending one out right now. Wonderful. Bro, outside the box. <laughs> Bro, come on, seriously? So I forgot to show for court. No biggie. Lesson learned, let's move on. Is that the best pitch you can come up with? Are you kidding me? I pitched to world leaders, man. I'm in banking, complex derivatives. Ah, well, what are the chances? I'm in banking too. Large withdrawals. Then you know where I'm coming from. Play hard, go big, no regrets, right? All I'm regretting is not killing you. But the journey's still young. Wow, buzzkill alert. Come on. Don't tell me you didn't rush your tits off back there. Is this a thing? <laughs> An original getaway. I'll give you that. That's me, dog. Unconventional. You see my ink, right? I mean, you never guess I have an MBA. I'm going full sleeve this year, FYI. It's like when I look at you, I see homeless crackhead. But you're really a badass white knuckle bounty hunter. Dudes like you and me, we will not let normality define us. I met this hedge fund guy called Dom a couple years back who got me into the exports. Guy was a real douche -rama, but he taught me that's okay to be a douche, so long as you're spiritual and alive. It's about taking on nature and winning, and filming it. Oh, wow, and how's that working out for you? I mean, in the light of you being on your way to jail and possibly being killed on the way there. What's good, dude? Hi there! Look, it's all a big misunderstanding. Oh, of course it is. I'm a scapegoat, man. A victim of the zeitgeist. Listen, check this out. So I'm working at Schlongberg Sachs, vice president, already, at my age. I mean, basically everyone's a vice president, but I'm one of the youngest, the hungriest cub in the pack. I'm taking home high five figures a month after tax. Then the market crashes, bottom line gets wiped, the whole world goes nuts, right? People who wouldn't know a future from an option are suddenly talking about 99% this and 1% that. So of course, we're feeling the heat. Mortgage-backed securities are our bread and butter, but we're sitting tight. We know the government's got to step in. Too many fat cats with too much to lose. The bailout comes, all good. Bonuses back on, business as usual. Then, word starts spreading internally about the merger, right as I've got a line on this incredible eco-lodge in Belize. I am talking literally a mansion in paradise, bro. Awesome cave tubing down there, dude. So, I sell a few shares a little earlier than I should. Okay, and then next thing you know, I've got the commission all over me. Talk about bad luck. What I'm saying, man, is that I think, you know, with the year I've had, I deserve to catch a break, don't you? Oh, you'll catch a break, all right. The only thing stopping me from shooting you right now is the happy thought of what they'll do to a white-collar criminal like you in the pen. So, why don't you sit back, shut the hell up, and dwell on that for the rest of the ride? Sound good? Okay, dude. Chill. I, I thought we were on the same page. Am I sensing a motivation slump? Hello, Mud. Look at the two of you. Have you been keeping handsome? Uh, up and down, to be honest with you, Mud. Life can be confusing, Trevor. In my youth, I wanted to be a cheerleader, and I nearly made it to the top. But then... I discovered a burning passion for justice. And that's what brought you here, huh? No, but that's another story for another day. Leave him here, and I'll send you a fresh sheet.
Father Christmas has been a bad boy. Okay, be a good little fugitive and hold it right there! We got trouble, boys! Okay, that's enough! You got me! Aw, oh, that's better. Now let's go before I change my mind on the whole dead or alive. In it, I thought you'd had second thoughts about violating my basic human rights. You gonna play nice now, Granddad? I'd rather die fighting than surrender to the hypocritical laws of your oppressive regime. Uh, although you did, in fact, surrender. I took a stance, didn't I? Stared the bully in the face, then back down at the last minute. That's how activism works. Not that I'd expect a mindless drone of a nanny state like you to understand. Whatever. You know, I never realized hobos were so well armed. I'm not a hobo. I've made a conscious decision to reject the capitalist society. By living in a hobo camp. It's a lifestyle choice, you government stooge. And have you looked in the mirror recently? This discrimination disgusts me. I only just got out of jail for that sit-in protest outside the exchange in Liberty City. Such a sense of the power of group action. Until we all turned on each other. Hmm. What are they trying to send you down for now? I didn't pay much attention to your file. Of course you didn't. I assaulted a cop at an anti-globalization rally, beat him up with a fire extinguisher, and I'd do it again. Screw the police. Nothing but mindless stoolies of the totalitarian regime. You're preaching to the choir, Pops. What? You're worse than they are. A paid thug of a corrupt legal system rounding up agitators for the ruling autocracy? A puppet on a power trip. I just wonder who's got their hand up your ass. Whoa! Hold on there, socialist Santa. If you want an anarchy off, I will take you down any day. I wreak indiscriminate mayhem on an hourly basis. And secondly, no one has a hand up my ass. Would you like to look? Listen, nobody's more anti-establishment than me, old man. I hate authority, so watch. Home. Oh, I'm sorry. Hired mensch of the dictatorship. Did Daddy not love you? No. Daddy left me at a shopping mall and never came back, so I burnt it to the ground. I've lost count of the number of people I've killed in just the last week, and I am very happy to add your name to the pile right now. So why don't you shut your f mouth? Okay, we'll leave it there. Touchy subject, I see. Why are we stopped? Is this the part where you execute me on the side of the road? Well, if it isn't my dear old buddy Trevor, and he's brought me this reprobate. Hello, Maud. You know, I kind of look upon you as the friend I never had, the son I never wanted, and the shrink I could never afford. You do? Kinda. The pursuit of criminal men for profit is back-breaking, soul-crushing work. Oh, I can only imagine. 
I'm retiring, Trevor. I want a peaceful life away from all this insanity and degradation. I want a picket fence and a husband and a dog named Skip. I want the dream, Trevor, and I won't let anyone stand in my way. Good for you, Maud. I wish you well on that quest. I'll find it, Trevor. I'll find it all. I'm a passionate woman. Goodbye, my boy. Goodbye, Maud. Be well. <laughs>